Welcome everybody to the MVSS EA um, Valorant tournament. This game is gonna be Vancouver Technical Secondary School versus Canby. Two teams on the line trying to play for their seeding spots. And the thing to note that both of these teams are really, really strong in both sides that they play. So as we go on, yes, they did pick Haven, but we gotta know that Canby did ban Ascent and Van Tech ban Split. However, Select as we already know, agent. that they already picked Haven and Van Tech already selected Defender as their first side. As we see what characters they can pick, we do see on the Defender side Reyna, Jet, Sova, Omen, and Cypher on attackers. You see Phoenix, Omen, Cypher. Um, this is basically a lot of heavy engage, and they have a lot of variety of characters. Uh, we just got to see like how they will play and how they will work out, All right? Since Haven's such a wide map and a really strong map for everyone to play around with, and it's just overall generally just difficult to play around in this map because it's so open there's three places that you can plant the fuse and there's a lot of corners there's isn't much that you can really do to defend all of these and that's where the sentinels comes in right and that's where either some of these teams will rise to the occasion or fall as for we can see the loadout. There isn't really much that we can pick off. It's just regular meta strats. And it's basically ghost and stuff. We do see one on the camera that spots Reyna, but they haven't seen no more. more. The camera's broken, they see a couple, and now they have to do something now. They are already gonna go through short. The smoke off long. Eyeball comes in, you check all corners. This trip wired. He's getting chunked really hard. Plague Doctor with a 2k already. And everything sues down. It's so really, really bad. Four can be. And now they are rotating over to Seasight. But will Van Tech pick this up? They're gonna go through Garage. Barely misses him. Arrow comes in. And. Paranoia manages to hit a couple. Will he swing to, the, to it? No, the shot there will finish. Omen. Phoenix picks up a 3k, and that's gonna be the first round for Canby. Really, really, really good for them. They only lose the one member, and their eco is Here. amazing. Here. And now they have the economy to full buy if they want to. Or, if they really want to, they can go straight for the Phantom, the Vandal, and go hard. And now we gotta see how Vantech would do to counteract this. Since they just lost the last round, will they go for armor? Will they go for ghost? What will they do? It's gonna be a really weird one. Since it's, it's quite difficult for them to uh, do. We see a couple in the garage. It does not spot any, but they know that there is a couple in the garage now. Careful now. And they can claim a precarious spot. They aren't all rushing in now. One goes in the smoke. That makes a two prestige falls. Spike planted. Now they all have to rotate over to Seasight, making it really, really hard for them. Revealing area. Making it really hard. Does Chunk rain that down a couple bit? Phoenix and Reyna falls. They have to swing into the garage. Another one falls, but won't get the fourth. But he will be shut down eventually. And the last two is in CT side. Omen is holding the angle. Plague Doctor on the side gets paranoid and has to find the cipher. Last one. Last one goes around to CT side. But does Plague Doctor know? It does not. Time is winding down as it ticks and ticks and ticks. 
it seems like Plague Doctor won't get the second round. And just unfortunately, he could not convert into a two round advantage. One to one, and they're all. And they're all neutral in economy and equipment. But we do gotta take note that on the side of VT, it's their economy is extremely bad since they did force in the last round. And so they can't afford to take many fights here. But they do read this correctly, but they can't convert it. Plague Doctor's ready down and just makes it a 4v4 with conversion of Warmage. Wow, that was pretty clean. Tripwire reveals one. Cypher has to run away. Omen King has to rotate around either heaven or wait for his team. Warmage gets one, get 3k, but JC Pog shuts down Warm Age. They know that there is an omen, but they still haven't planted it down. It's a 3v2. How will they? What will they do? They're playing really silently, so... But will they correctly identify Cage triggered. Uh, how they will play? How will they rush in and take sight they did not bait them they know that they're both here 30 seconds left spamming through the watch not being able to get many shuts down jc pod and that's gonna be a big one for van tech two to one and they fix their economy and get the mental game against all of them Um, with can be to say the least that they do have a pretty aggressive composition with Omen, Phoenix, and Reyna. They have all of the ability to do so, to rush in, and yeah. But this Vantech has been playing it really, really strong right now. It's just really, really well. Cover going out. They've been reading them, and and this is something that can be has to. Change up right now because they are getting red quite easily, but it's not gonna be hard for Bentec to mess up. But it's still gonna be a hard one to see at least. But Camby is already rushing into Seaside to Garage. Paranoia is coming through, gonna hit both of them. Cypher's in his smoke screen. Trapped. And now suddenly he's the only one alive. Chunks him down, and that's gonna be a flawless round for Van Tech. That makes it three to one. And just suddenly now Kembi is already feeling the pressure on his on their backs. This is just something that you don't really realize of what happens during a game in Valorant because some you one round ago you're like neutral and then next round you're just like back against the wall with a couple rounds down with the economy down the drain it's just it's really really hard but it's something that they will have to convert and play off mentally but again they do have their equipment and stuff eyeball comes out they know that Raina is nearby Mega King sing in the back but not really going to be finding anything. No. They aren't committing to anything yet. Can be does playing it really safe. They don't find prestige. Now they're already on site. But will they find prestige? No, they will smoke it off. But they're already on site. Running back is activated. But will he find anyone though? It's going to be a short time. They do see Reyna on B site, but not going to convert with the ultimate bloody gets one prestige trades one also one and remaining. suddenly everyone's just flying one, one by one remaining. and it's arena versus arena showdown <sighs> at warm age will be the better one but there was a lot of pressure in the garage 
area. Wasn't much that they could do. Yet, I would say it was a well worth effort from Cammy. Maybe change out the playstyle they can do. Maybe change up who is the main shot caller. Opper. Those type of low things. They could do a lot of things. And so, will they change up the strategy and stuff, or will they just suddenly just slowly play like this until 13 rounds? Two already goes down. Goes down. Nathan finds one on Omega King. That brings a lot of pressure onto East side now. Vantech has to find one. Smoke comes down off. They find that there's an off, but Plague Doctor may not know there's one in heaven. Gets paranoia. Does not convert Nathan. It's in a really bad spot now. He may smoke this off. Yes, he will. And two coming in through smoke will turn and prestige wins the duel on this one. And they have to slowly and slowly read this and find where all they are. They have to increase the tempo right about now if they want to win this. And no, it's not gonna happen. Really well played by War Mage. And his entire team. They've been playing really, really well. Especially in the last four, three rounds. They have to find a new way to start entering in. And to find a new way to engage and rush into a site. They can't just keep playing slowly like this. And it's really, really hard for them to get anything done. This is something they have to adapt to or else it's just not gonna happen. Like Dr. C cameras, he does get hit by the dart somehow, but it doesn't reveal much about the strategy of this game for Van Tech. Reviews the tripwire. Reyna's gonna be going in. They may or may not see the cypher, yes he will, but Omega King is gonna get a 3k all of a sudden out of nowhere. Prestige ults, doesn't find anything, does not commit to it. Karma goes through. And it seems like they know that there's one long. They will try to isolate, but they still haven't placed down the bomb and many various things. They both, they have all the sites on lockdown now. The real question is, how are they gonna get onto site and wow, my eyes are down. clean it up? Omen, standing. Prestige, finds Cypher. And now it brings it to a 3v1. A lot of pressure on Nathan. 30 seconds left. Really, really hard. Nathan, playing really silently. Stinger comes through his spike. Sounds does happen. And now it's really, really hard. And that's gonna be a clean shot by Plague Doctor. Really, really clean. All you need to do was hold that angle, and it worked. It was such a good play by him that they don't really need to change much except just to fix the little mistakes and clean it up. For Canby. There was a lot of good plays. They managed to get on site, but they have to commit to the plant now. Just fix the little things one by one, get the plant down, and then just eventually get it done. War Mage will shut down Nathan. Eyeball comes through, will not find Zoro. Now they have access to B side. Reyna is in the back site. I know exactly. Have the line of sight on Jet, but will he manage to find a pick? The nef neural theft. Managed to see all of them, but does not get a lot. Plague Doctor ends their 
life. And now all of a sudden that can be has the advantage onto both sides B on A. What will Sova do now? What will they do? It will be really, really hard for them to do anything. And Hot Spike Cheeto planted. is going to get the plant down. 300 gold for all of his teammates. And Sova just slowly and slowly just trying to see where all of them are. If he manages to find all of them, that would be insane. And unfortunately, JC Pog will just backstab him with the Odin. Right here. Unfortunately, could not convert for the seventh round. But it's a valiant effort. Valiant effort indeed. But you know that's how it goes. And now they can keep rolling this momentum now. They converted the momentum and now they can do a lot more things. They can keep rolling this wave and see what happens. Three mid and Plague Doctor will not be able to find a pick. There was a slight second he could have, but not much that he could have done. Hot Cheetos in Garage gonna swing back out. Reyna, Omen, gonna be swing into B side now. But we got to know that Vantax already there. This is going to be really, really bad. Buddy, Cypher, doing a lot of damage. That's going to be 3v2 now, all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Jed's going to keep chasing, but not convert. Cypher is going to go on A site, hopefully plant. Dusty Getty coming back. Really get it. Yes, he will, but it's going to be really hard for him to convert this into a win. On the wire. And we get Plague Doctor, not the Solva though. And that is gonna be a seventh round for Van Tech. A very nice try for Can be. They tried the same thing as the last round. And yeah, and it's it's really really hard for especially can be. After the second round, it was really, really hard for them to and try to convert onto the third round. After Vantech got the ball rolling, it's just unfortunately that Omega King just playing really well out of his mind. Same with Plague Doctor. Actually, I gotta say with most of his team, they've been playing really well. It's not spot the Omen yet. The smoke will come through. If TP will not land into the pit. That's gonna be paranoia all of them. But not be getting much. JC Pog is gonna be lit down to 30. Smoke screen. And that's gonna be a lot of pressure. Prestige getting a lot of damage. JC Pog not getting much at all. Jet. Actually, Prestige does get JC Pog on the way out. Sova's gonna be ulting. He's trying to split up the engage. And now they are just gonna get collapsed on War Mage in the back line. Dying all his magical powers that he can do. Phoenix gonna have to go through if they want to get through the B side or A side. And just all of a sudden it just goes quiet. Gonna be a very hard one. one enemy remaining. At most, I would say that they can save. Oh. Nathan does not get one before he goes down. And Prestige will kill him for the flawless round. Making that 8 to 2. And 2. Second last round for this game. Oh, this is a nice spot. This goes here. As they set up, here. we do see that they are gonna all buy up on the side of Canby. They are gonna do it. So that means they if they lose this round, they aren't gonna have a lot of money going into the last round. Arrow comes through. Cypher is gonna be peeking. Gets one. Will he swing him for a second or will he back up? Seems like he's gonna be backing off back to the back of A. They are gonna all gonna rush in. 
but there's now two on A site. It's gonna be really, really hard. And they are gonna just spray into the smoke screen, but not getting much. Hot I Cheeto is exactly finding prestige. And that they get the camera, but there isn't much that they are gonna get. Now, they are gonna go into garage, will not find it. He's gonna be getting chased. Phoenix not quite falling down. Study. Getting the kill on the noob. Plague Doctor gets JC Pog. Plague Doctor 3v2. Here. They know Phoenix is there now. On site. Molly is down. Does he still have flash One though? Enemy remaining. And that's gonna be a 1v3. It's gonna be a tall task for Hot Cheetos and not gonna happen at all. And now they will have to try something really, really cheesy last if they want to the get hatch. this last round going into the swap. But I do like to say the game is not over because any game is quite easily turnable. As down. long as they have the mental fortitude to yes, get back into go. this game. Wow, this is a nice spot. And I'll just here. say that Omega King is going for a standard setup. Now we gotta see that they are gonna be setting up for C. Omen's gonna be ulting, he's trying to gather some information. Teleport comes through, he's gonna find all of them, but not gonna be bring out his weapon in time. One for War Mage, not getting the second. Zoro getting the kill on. Nathan just applying pressure on CT side. Planted. And all of a sudden, it just seems like a tall task for Van Tech. Tech Doc will not be able to remaining. get the kill. Hot flashes himself, gets the kill, converts. Mega King finds Reyna though. And now they're just playing pressure on to the Fires Cypher. Out. Finds one on Hot Cheetos before anything happens. We have Tripwire. Knows where Cypher is now. But Nero Theft is gonna be coming through. Knows when there's on the left now. Oma Omega King, excuse me, finds the enemy Cypher. This is no but he has to stick this now. Paranoia comes through, gets to 4k, but will he have enough time? And just not enough time is gonna happen. That's gonna be the third round. Four can be. Switching sides. And that's gonna be a great mental clear coming into the swap. It's really, really good mental clear and such coming into the swap. And that's gonna be clearing a lot of mentals and all the doubt they had coming in from attacker side. Now there's so much things that they can do. There is the cheese that they can do around um I would believe it's called sewers. I'm not too sure. I don't remember all the callouts in the game, but um, that's if they know it. With number three, it seems that they most of them are gonna be going ghost or their Here. light armor and such. Omen getting one kill before he falls. War Mage getting Nathan will swing. For the enemy cipher, that's the double trip wire on long for some reason. Not sure how much it works, but it seems like that it's gonna already four v one, and that's gonna be a three k for war mage. And an excellent pistol round for Van Tech. Now they have an ability like to convert these. But how will they convert this? Will they full buy, save up, use the frenzy, or be cons you know as I say conservative or aggressive with their economy? War Mage Van Tech will be heading to A site. They are all in garage. They misread this incorrectly. They're. Are checking all the corners. They are checking everything. Now, can we have to quickly rush over to see? 
if they can retake this back. Teleport up into heaven. Not gonna be getting much info. Nathan is close by, gonna get the kill. Prestige gets killed, nuked, getting a 2k. Same with War Mage and Hot Cheetos finding a one before he falls. I did not try a very nice read by Van Tech, but a valiant effort from Canby trying to get a really nice cheese off, but. Uh, at that point, it's just that's on the second round, if you're already down by Bucky, it's just really, really hard for you to retake any sides. I would just say, but just save. Yeah, I'd well, probably just say you? save to save the Bucky's and then test next round. Uh, if you can buy up, Shadows buy up, traveling. yeah, and then just oh, try something else. But it still works, but not my favorite strat. And they're all on C. They all have to rotate. It looks like they're just playing ring around the Rosie at this point. They are reading this Five one planted. round too late. Nathan. Gonna be going through Garage trying to see. They're all clumped up. So if Vantech does get a couple of uh, collads, it's gonna be really, really hard for them going to out. try and win this. They have a small amount of time, they have a small window. There's really not much that they can do. Nathan on the plant. Well they body block it. No, they want prestige. Gets the kill on to Nathan. Plague Doctor. But try and shoot through smoke. Achito's gonna fall. And they all are gonna fall. That's gonna be a 12-3 for Van Tech. And it is. Match gonna be point. match point for Vantech. Still coming back a ball for Canby and see if they can do anything. But yeah, they I gotta say Canby did have a really good plays in the first half of the game. They did a lot of good things I find really, really nice about their teamwork and such. I'd just say it's just a matter of how are they gonna use it all together and just and bring it all together as a whole. But Fantech is just more solid. It seems that it's gonna be a one for one trade. Not gonna be much Omen. Just gonna be finding a couple of it. JC Pog. And the Cypher is going to be the only one alive. Not aiming quite down enough. Omega King's in the back line. And we'll end this with the pistol. That's going to be a 13-3 for Van Tech. An excellent game. For Van Tech. A valiant effort for Mkambi. But they're just outshined by Van Tech in this series. As we see that... We do see a lot of like top fraggers and a lot of mechanical players in this round and such. Omega King just playing really, really well, 21 and 6. Economy rating of 125. Really, really strong. War Mage, 15 8. Plague Doctor, 15 8. They all played really, really nice. And, and just what unfortunately that. Maybe it wasn't off duty for Canby. They just couldn't do much. I do gotta say though that it may be their off day, but they still have a chance at uh, everything, I'd say, actually. And such that brings me to believe that Vantex will be a monster going into playoffs. And especially to keep an eye out for Omega King and War Mage. They, it seems like they have a lot of synergy together. And they are able to do a lot of things. I do got to say though that it, this was a fun game to cast and to watch. Not as a caster, but as a fellow player. And that brings me to... 
to conclude this series and match that it was a fantastic game from Van Tech winning this game 13 to 3. And if you stick by and you come back at 8 p.m., we do have Clarney versus St. Thomas More. That will be a really fun game to see what happens. Um, we do have a really, really fun game that's going to be casting at 8. And if, yeah, as I said earlier, if you stick around, it's going to be a really, really enjoyable game. As always, I've been your caster, Poral, and I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, keep yourself safe from the corona, and yeah, later, and peace out.